Hey everyone, Nick and Leslie here inside of our 25 foot flying cloud Airstream with a twin bed layout. She's so far away. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? We're here to talk about the pros and the cons of the twin bed layout versus the queen bed. Stay with us. So whenever we talk about our Airstream or we give a tour of it, one of the biggest like weird moments is the bed situation. People often wonder what's it like sleeping and living with twin beds. In fact, it was a question that we had when we were actually shopping for an Airstream. We saw some layouts with the twin bed and I thought, no, never. Why would I want a twin bed? I like sleeping next to my wife. I mean, I think most people would. You know, it just kind of made sense for us to want to have a queen bed. But then I started looking at what we actually got when we went to the twin bed. And I went back to you when we were shopping for an Airstream and I was like, hey, maybe we need to do a twin bed. Right. And you still weren't sold, right? No, you had to convince me a little bit. But um, once I saw the uh, increased storage and just floor space, right, that really did it for me. Yeah. And it, what's so great is this space in the middle. I don't know, Leslie, come over here. We'll try and do this to where we can kind of show you this a little bit better. But take a look at all this floor space right down the middle. So what happens when it's a queen bed, the layout's totally different. The queen actually comes off the side and sticks all the way across here. And it leaves you a little aisle over here and a little aisle over, kind of point to it for me, Leslie. Right, yeah. so the person would have to kind of go all the way around and then like tiny little space to get to the side of the bed and almost have to like barrel roll to get off. Whereas we have this lovely walkway right. you can easily get to each bed. So the other good thing we've done with this space, and this is only when in a pinch, we have five of us in this family. I have two older boys and we're actually in Austin right now and they were staying with us for a few days. They slept up front, so I put the two boys up front in the dining and I guess you call it sofa area up there. And Leslie, tell them what we did with Isla, our little girl. Yeah, so we put an air mattress right here. Um, one of kind of like an individual twin air mattress. It was like a camping mattress, yeah. Right through here. She kind of filled it up with pillows and stuffed animals. She had this wonderful spot to sleep. And all we had to do was just a little bit of barrel rolling, but we just kind of scoot off of the bed and up like this to get out. And it worked really better than I thought to get all of us sleeping in here at one time. The other great thing about this setup comes back to this magic drawer here. This is like one of the most overutilized things that we have in this bedroom, but- And you'll see why. We love it. And in fact, there's a safety strap on here. We'll explain why in a second. Go ahead and pop that off. And we have this drawer. Oh. It's just like stuff with stuff. We tried to be organized and we put all these little like compartment yeah, I mean, cubbies. I mean, it's just everything. So this drawer is just huge and it can fit so much stuff. Yeah, we keep, you know, whatever we need from eyeglasses to a little portable sound machine to battery backups to hot spots. We overloaded this drawer so much. Um, we had to get a little smarter with it. We made a mistake. This is a pro tip. It has a good clasp on it right there. But when you, we were driving one day, it actually, I guess from just slamming on the brakes or whatever, it opened up. And one day I found it like this and it hadn't, I was like, oh man, that's not good. That thing opened up. Well, I should have, you know, that was my sign to do something about it. I didn't the next time it popped open again and it was on the floor and it was just a mess. What we did was we just got one of these child safety straps as a little added protection to kind of help should we have that issue. Really well. Um, but there, but this drawer alone is one of the best things I love about this twin bed layout. And not just the drawer, but the table space. So right. <laughs> we have it nice and clean right now. Uh, but often we'll have, you know, phones, iPads. iPads, glasses, you know, I take this stuff out and put it out here, sound machine. So we just have a, a really big table that we can use here. Yeah, no doubt. And let's talk about the space underneath, which is a mess. We've been on, what are we like, day 10, 11 here yeah. on a trip. So we're, we're kind of messy down here right now, but we have these four compartments that actually store, there's two on each side. Uh, where we keep a lot of shoes and dirty clothes and whatnot underneath the twin bed section. 
but the front portion of the bed is actually outdoor storage. So that's what's so great is the, it opens up more storage options on the outside of the camper as well. So those back uh, right and left panel of the Airstream has some storage space there. Where are you on this twin bed? queen bed thing, Leslie. I mean, you know, I, I would say we've been really pleased. With the I am a fan. A um, couple things that have been helpful for us in the twin bed situation. So we bought this camper used and the guy before us had actually built oh, yeah, this point. extra little Let's piece show that, people like that I will show you. So um, I think some of the complaints that people have had is that maybe that mattress kind of like scooted off or something. When you were driving. Um, yeah. So the guy that we bought this from, he actually had built this little um, extra wood piece right here. You lift up the mattress for him so they can see that. So it's just it's just like a piece of plywood with a little nice clean lip, and then he screwed it down into the plywood below. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I can't say I've experienced it any other way, but that has worked really, really we well for us. Issues, yeah. yeah, the other thing is it's not a perfect twin. You see how it's got um, the curvature of the outside of the um, Airstream. So we just got some of those, um, well, there's like a website I know. They sell specific sheets do that, that like wrap around that mattress, no, but, didn't do that, but but they're we overpriced. Just use, we just use one of these guys, and it has worked really well. Yeah, just to keep it really tight all the way around. Yeah, and so the sheets don't come off. Uh, Correct. In that spot. Here's another thing um, for a standard sized female, I would say. I mean, I'm five six. I'm relatively tall. It's a long bed. So even when I'm in here, my feet don't go to the end. And that's my purse. So it's almost like an extra little space down there yeah. that I can keep stuff and not mess with my sleep. That's funny that you say that because I'm 5'10 and I actually have a little space down at by my feet as well. And I will often like, I'll take off my shirt and, or some hats or something. I'll just like throw them down there at the end of the night. Should I, there was a bear outside the camper and I had to get up real fast and throw clothes on. Like it's right there by my feet. So the million dollar question that most of you probably have is like, this is, this is your spouse. And typically you might sleep in the same bed. It's not like we're some show from the 1950s or something, but nope. we sleep really well separately. We've we learned do. that. We do very and, well. And um, as for the other stuff, like we just, it's not a challenge. Not been a challenge. Yeah, so anyhow, I'm sure you can figure it out. If it were me, if we bought another Airstream tomorrow. We would buy the twins. Buy the twin. Let me know in the comments below. Don't Hope. forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it.